Hey Drop, welcome to Horsehead Bookends. We are one week away from record store day. Drop number two, I guess we can call it. That is going to happen on June 18th. I have the list right here. We're gonna go through it real fast and talk about it. But first, uh, here's some stuff I got in the last month or so uh, that recently came in. Uh, Cause I think the last video was about a month ago, probably. Well, here's what I got anyway. Um, let's start off with this right off the bat is uh, Grateful Dead, Dave's Pick, number one. This is uh, 525.77 from the mosque in Richmond, Richmond, Virginia. This sounds awesome. I almost didn't get this because Deadnet screwed up my pre-order. They said that my uh, address was incorrect. And when I looked on when I did buy it, my address was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. But thanks to a friend, she had an extra copy and she sent it to me and I am super happy to get this. And it sounds amazing. I, I, we've listened to this a few times already. Now these might not be new releases. Some of these are older releases, um, but they're ones that I just recently added to my collection. I do have, um, I think one new release or two new releases. Anyway, moving on. Art Pepper Plus 11 from Crep Recording. This is actually on my turntable right now, so it's kind of floppy. There's nothing in here. Uh, this is an awesome recording uh, from Craft. Craft does some great stuff, uh, and this was uh, this is this is uh, terrific. So I'm really digging this one a lot. All right, next is one I didn't have in my vinyl collection, but I do have it on cassette and I've had it on CD and that is Pink Floyd's Momentary Lapse of Reason. This actually is a 45 half speed master. I wasn't aware that this was out but I saw it pop up for sale and I picked it up. Haven't spun it yet. It is actually still sealed. After that, keeping with the P words is Primus Frizzle Fry. This is one I do not have in my collection, but this is my absolute favorite Primus album. I got this on cassette a long time ago when no one really knew uh, who they were. I forget I was either reading something about it or I, I heard them somewhere and uh, I ran out to my local music store when they were abundant and they had this and I grabbed it and uh, I, I listened to it so much I, I actually wore the tape out. It, it's, it really is my favorite. It's just a, uh, it's just a classic. Another one to add to my collection that I didn't have and that is uh, Aphex Twin Selected Ambient Works uh, 8592. This is a terrific album. A, uh, Aphex Twin really isn't for everybody, but if you do like them, uh, you know this is this is an awesome uh, this is an awesome record. So I was super happy to be able to add this to my collection. Okay, I'm not sure if this is a new release or not. I don't think it is this pressing, but that is Herbie Hancock Sexton on uh, Music on Vinyl. It is one of uh, uh, this uh, this is from the 70s, yeah, 73. One of the Herbie Hancocks from the 70s that I don't have. Uh, and uh, I saw this come up, music on vinyl. I've been pretty happy with what I picked up from them. So I grabbed this one. Now this one I do believe was a new release. Well, not new, but a new re-release. And that is uh, They Might Be Giants debut album, uh, remastered 180 gram, uh, limited, edition, limited edition, hand numbered. Uh, yeah, 3140 out of 4,000. I didn't realize it was numbered at first, but this is, uh, I, I like this album. I, it's good. They might be Giants album. It's not their best, but, uh, they're all, they're all pretty good. And this one's got some classic, uh, tunes on it. And then finally I picked this up. Uh, this I believe was a new release and that is Ice Cube's death certificate, 25th anniversary. This is, I think, uh, his best album and has probably the greatest diss track of all time, uh, No Vaseline. Uh, this is a, a great album and it's got three, uh, three new songs which actually are pretty good. Well, I don't know if they're new but previously unreleased. I think they have to be new because some of the lyrics on there, it dealt with um, modern, modern day things. So the three unreleased tracks are really good too but this is, uh, this is a classic. 
and I am super happy to add it to my collection. All right, that's all the new stuff. Uh, let's talk about Record Store Day. Now, I am really torn about going to this next drop because there's not a lot coming out. Uh, I see five on the list that I definitely want to pick up. Uh, unless there's something I'm completely overlooking, so please let me know, post below, and say, yo, you gotta check this thing out, and, and I'll give it a listen. But there's not as many as there was in the April drop, but right now, what I'm probably definitely picking up, uh, the Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers in my prime, definitely grabbing that. Definitely grabbing the Ray Charles. Um, I know some people who want uh, the Jerry Garcia. I'm not really interested in that. Uh, I was debating getting the Kings, but uh, Waterloo Sunset you can get. Uh, uh, it's not, I don't have to have it. Uh, Night Beats, thinking about that. I, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then we got two of the Soul Jazz Records compilations of 100% Dynamite, Ska, Soul, Rocksteady, and Funk in Jamaica. And the other one is Studio One Classics. I love all the Soul Jazz releases. They do a great job with them. I try to grab them all the time. And finally, Voivod Nothing Face is really gonna be... The only reason I'm gonna wake up early and go sit online is for Nothing Face because it is such a good album. I, I can't wait to add it to my collection. But other than that, it doesn't seem like there is really a lot dropping. In June, I'm really considering just staying home, getting some sleep, and just ordering everything online. But that's it uh, for Record Store Day. If there's something that I'm totally overlooking, please let me know below, and I will give it a listen, and I'll probably, most likely, add it to my list to pick up as well. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to click on subscribe, ring the notification bell. You'll get notified anytime I upload a new video. Any questions or comments, feel free to post them below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, talk to you later.